that? Who are you? What do you want? Wiley. Hey, listen, how did you get in here anyway? Come with me. Wiley? What's all this then? What's all this then? Shall I pack a bag? Just put your pants on. Why? Is it raining? Wiley, who is she? I haven't the foggiest. You mean you don't even know her? Do I even know you? No. No. Then why are you doing like she says? It's the way she says it. Wiley, are you coming back? I'll ask her. No. It's no. Goodbye, poor dear. <laughs> no cat fights. You know how I feel. Oh, Wiley! Wiley! Omne animali poscoi tu triste. What? I said after sex, all creatures are sad. Should I ask where we're going? I don't like talkative men. What do your lovers call you? My name is Cassia Lancaster. Cassia Lancaster? Sounds like a cell door slamming shut. this hang-up. Take your clothes off. Your boots, too. Oddly enough, I prefer to leave them on. <laughs> All in my exact size, too. I have that kind of eye. I bet you've had it on me for some time, Cassia Lancaster. Hmm? I never wear anything that doesn't show. Wild, isn't it? In good mirrors, you can still see that I was once disastrously beautiful. Drop your pants. You can put this around you.
I'll show you the shower. Alone? Sit down. Are we alone? Incurably. Hey! I thought you liked the unexpected. I do, provided it lives up to my expectations. What the? Uh. Keep them closed. <sighs> I get it. People are peeping at us through little holes in the wall, right? Ugh. Kasia? Don't talk. You'll break a lip. You know what? People are not peeping at us after all. What there is is a hidden camera. We're filming a TV commercial. I'm beginning to see how you might very well have been the prince of someone so once upon a time. Now, where did you pick up a fulsome phrase like that? Your aunt uses it all the time. Once a week, she sits in this very chair. I'm her girl, you see. And the thing she talks about more than anything else in the world is you, Wiley. The prince of her soul. She wants you back. Do you mean you're doing all this for my aunt? I thought when she sees you, it might be nice if you looked a teeny bit like the prince <laughs> she so fondly remembers. <laughs> Then this whole bizarre scene, there's nothing erotic about it. I wouldn't say that. But the main point of it is serious. Deadly. And I thought I'd fallen into something all fruitcake and fetishes. Your aunt is dying, Wiley. She damn near died today, in fact, right in this room. That's why I had to come for you tonight. We don't have much time. Is it her heart? Emphysema. That's a respiratory disease, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Two-thirds of her lung tissue is gone. God. She has to spend her days in a wheelchair and her nights in an oxygen tent. It's enough right there to kill a person like Aunt Danny. No, it isn't. Do you know what she plans to do with her money when she dies? Charity? Unless you go back to her. To stay. In which case? She'll leave her entire fortune to you. But she really ought to when you come right down to it. I mean, your father should have left it to you in the first place, shouldn't he? Why? I wasn't his mistress. She wants you to have that money, Wiley. Did she tell you all this when she hired you to find me? Finding you was my idea. The whole caper is my idea. How did you find me, Cassia? I have friends in low places. I thought maybe you asked Luke, my kid brother. You have a brother. She never mentions Luke? Never. What do you expect to get out of all this? I expect to have. Of my rightful inheritance? It's only fair. Fair? Granted, you spent some time on this, maybe even a little bread. But once I go home, your work is done. I'm the one that has to live with her for as long as she lives. It won't be for long. Who can say how long long is? You can. Once the new will is signed and sealed, death can come in a matter of days, hours, minutes. You say when. I'll do it. It's only fair. 
But is murder necessary? I mean, we have emphysema going for us. Nowadays, you can't depend on natural causes. Cassio, you realize I'll have to go to the police. And tell them what? That you intend to murder a rich old lady in a wheelchair. In an oxygen tent. Come here, Cassia. Oh, you could wait till I killed her, then go to the police. That way you wouldn't have to share your good fortune with me. What is it? Didn't you hear it? What? Valmano doesn't keep a cat. It crept in from the alley then. I heard that noise in the throat. It must have been the brush dryer sputtering. It was a cat. Listen. calling on the doomed? I have to be back at Belmondo's by noon. You can't go back there. How are you going to explain the CAT in the rotisserie? It got away. I cleaned everything else up while you were dressing. Well, if you'd like my opinion, then you'd better. What we should do is go straight to your bed and spend the rest of the day in it. The sooner she sees you, the sooner she makes the new will. That is what this is all about, isn't it?
Besides, I only like to make love at night. Like a vampire. What time do you get home from work? Seven o'clock. Why? Give me a key. I want to be there to greet you properly. 21 Greenwich Street, top floor. I'll leave the door unlocked. a very naughty boy running away from me. Whatever in the world would make you do a thing like that? You don't happen to have any spare cash lying around, do you, Luke? Come in, Wiley. That is, if it's really you. Why so surprised to see me? Haven't I always turned to you in my hours of need? Never in person. By the way, you never showed the aunt any of my letters, did you? Of course not. Why? They've told her where to find me. Or send for me. Has she sent for you? You always put too much butter on things. Don't tell me you finally come back to help me after all these years. Help you to what, Luke? Break free of Aunt Danny? Could you break free after all these years? I don't know. She still has that mystique. We used to call it her occult power, remember? I still get a lovely little pain in the pit of my belly just thinking about it. Do you? No. I forgot. Slaves aren't allowed to get lovely little pains, are they? I'm not her slave. Then what's keeping you here? What do you mean, what's keeping me here? This is where I live, Wiley. This is my home. Besides, she needs me. Are you waiting for her to die? And leave you all that money? Now, that would be ballsy. That I'd admire. She's got better things to do with her money than to leave it to me. Then why in hell don't you leave her? Where would I go? What do you mean, where would you go? Where does anybody go? Out there, man, there's a whole world all hanging out. 
That's where you'd go, you dumb son of a... Oh, is that what you come back for? For money? Is she up and about? No. Why don't I run up there and burst screaming into a room just like I used to? All right. Wiley. She's taken over the study to avoid the stairs. Where did you get this piece of nostalgia? She lost it in the shop during her attack, I guess. I was just using it as an excuse to call the house. To see if I was still alive? What are you talking about? Cats, Cassia. A big house full of cats. You sent me in there knowing how I I didn't know about the damn cats! Oh. She mentions the prints of her soul, the terms of her will, but never a word about keeping damn near a hundred cats. Would I have let you walk into that house if I'd known it was full of cats? After all the work I've put into this, do you think I'd blow it now? I bet she'd get rid of those cats if given half a chance. Cats cannot be got rid of. Well, I thought that was an old wife's tale. Like the one about the cat sucking the breath out of the baby's mouth. It's not a good idea to take cats lightly, Cassia. That depends on whether you're a man or a mouse, doesn't it? Sorry, love. You've done the best you can do, if not what you do best. And the answer is still no. I'll never step foot in that house again, no matter how much I want that money. Not that I actually want it, you understand. There's something obscene about wanting money. But I do love to spend it. 
Wiley. The answer is still no. If the morning sunny, she'll be sitting in a little park across the way. She mentioned this as well? If you were there waiting... You know, I'm beginning to think this whole conspiracy is really between you and Aunt Danny. Let's pray for a sunny morning. What are you doing in here, Luke? The rain ruined the curtains. I thought I'd get rid of them before they became infested. You ready to go to the park? I don't want to leave the house today. Dr. Mills always blames me when you don't get some sun. It's sunny here. We used to sit here, Wiley and I. Cool his feet in the water. It was crystal then. I can't imagine anyone blaming you for anything. It's the fresh air you need, even more than the sun. Why did he come back only to vanish again? Why? What would make him do a thing like that? Please, Luke. This moment's not for sharing. I thought you were dreaming. I often dream of you, White. As a grown man. You've grown beautifully. Ah, it takes Lucius care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> it shows. Uh, are you are you prosperous? Even if I were, I wouldn't dream of paying you back the money I stole from you. You didn't steal it. How did you know that? Where have you been, Wiley, all these years? Oh, in warm places. They say death is easier in a warm climate. Mm. So is life. Wiley, have you come home? Those cats. Those damn cats. My cats? <laughs> you don't have orgies with them, do you? Wiley! Aha, oh. I see. They're your link with the devil. <laughs> you all get together and perform unimaginable acts of darkness. <laughs> oh, you can say the most chilling things and still manage to warm my heart. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, Why do you keep them? Why? But, well, because I like them, I would think. You can like them without letting them overrun the place, can't you? Oh, I never intended that. 
Suddenly there they were. They just come, you see. I'm never sure from where. And you let them just stay? You ran away. Luke couldn't take your place, as he expected to. I had to find other heirs. You mean you're going to leave all your money to those cats? <laughs> That's why I split yesterday. And why I won't come back. You knew about this? What? His fear. And you let him walk into that room. You didn't think to warn him. I guess I thought he must have outgrown it. I'm sorry. You didn't think to warn him? I said I'm sorry. I really am, Wiley. You know that. I forgive you. Well, then, I'll get rid of them at once. How? Luke will pack them into the car and turn them loose somewhere. Somewhere far away. All right. Go get rid of the cats, and I'll come home. At once. You won't vanish again. I'll wait right here. No, no. Out at the edge. You'll see him drive away. You'll know it's safe to come home. We can go in now. We? Oui? I'll stay upstairs somewhere. She never goes upstairs. You intend to stay? Just until she makes the new will. And I've seen it with my own eyes. You don't trust me? Or are you afraid I won't go through with this? I'm not afraid of anything, Wiley.
Mr. Goldfield, thank you for calling right back. I'm going to make a new will. Didn't you hear? I'm disinheriting my cats. I'm leaving everything to Wiley. I want you here within the hour. Impossible is a word I do not retain you to use, Henry. But I want it done today, Henry. I've waited years for today. I don't want you, Mr. Bendetto. I don't want a junior partner. I want you. Oh, all right, all right. But within the hour. junior member of law firm arrives. Yes, love. She's called her lawyer. And within the hour, she'll be dictating a brand new will. How did she get a hold of that? Someone left it in the park. You heard her make the call. A young man? Wiley, listen. Go up and stay with her. Be there when that the lawyer... That was my brother. That was Luke. Wiley, I want you there when she dictates that will. <laughs> well... Mm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Wiley. Mm -hmm. mm. Wiley, stop it. used to leap out of dark places at you. You used to scream with glee. Of course, if you no longer enjoy black fun. Uh, I'm, I'm just out of practice, that's all. Uh, Wiley, wasn't there just a little glee in my scream? It was the most gleeless scream I've ever heard. Mr. Bendetto, the lady of the house is expecting me. To wake her out of a sound sleep. My immediate superior, Mr. Goldfield, it gave me to understand that uh, I was to Is be... that Mr. Vendetta? Bendetto! Mr. Bendetto. Bendetto? Bendetto. 
Oh, well, then, that's that. Come in, Mr. Uh, Vendetto. May I say that it's a great pleasure to meet you, and I thank you for showing me that way. It's really nice service to you, Mr. Potter. Sure. I assume that my own ghost has explained the situation. Do you want her to catch you? All right, I'm sorry. 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 to a bit of sharing. Yes. I'd just as soon be out cruising the supermarkets. Stay. We may need your signature. His wouldn't be legal. He's the sole beneficiary. At any rate, this will all have to be translated into the proper language and form and signed in the presence of at least two witnesses, according to methods prescribed by California law. If you'll let us know when to expect you. I never travel into town. Except to see Belmondo. You'll return with it this afternoon. It'll have to be the first thing in the morning at the very earliest. And bring your own witnesses. Did I hear you mention Belmondo? It means beautiful world. I'd better see what's his name to the door. Questions. Well? If my aunt should die soon after the will is in effect... You would be very rich. Don't complete my sentences for me. Sorry? Would I be able to do whatever I like with the money? Whatsoever. What would happen if I dropped dead before I had a chance to blow it all? Well, if you haven't had the foresight or the decency to make a will of your own, it would go to your next of kin, naturally. But of course... In other words, there's nothing in the new will that says she can reach out from the grave and turn that money back to those cats. Oh, no, no. The cats are out of it for good. Are they? Unless, of course, something happens to your aunt during the night. What does that mean? Uh, well, I, I only meant that uh, until the new instrument is signed by testatrix and two witnesses, the old one remains in effect. According to California law... No more questions. This is our Miss Lancaster. She's come to murder Aunt Danny. Shall I set a place for her at the dinner table? This being the case, I'd rather she didn't know we have a house guest. He doesn't intend to keep you down here, does he? How about the playroom? The aunt never goes upstairs, right? Go air it out, would you, Luke?
Are you mad? He knew I was putting him on. I'm warning you, Wiley. I'm not going to let this thing be mucked up by your sick sense of humor. It's a warm soak you need. Shall I run a tub for us? Get the hell upstairs and keep your aunt amused. That's what you're here for. I'll take her out to the conservatory so you can sneak up to the playroom. Run your own tub. I said to you the other day, two-thirds of our lung tissue's gone. Two-thirds, mind you. Well, give or take a few. Getting rid of those air-polluting cats was a wisdom. You see, their little air spaces get dilated or ruptured. The lungs, I mean, not the cats. I'll see you at the door, Doctor. She should sleep for a few hours. If she doesn't, give her a couple of those blue pills. No more than two, mind you. Anyway, you've got my home number. If there's any trouble, give me a call. Bye, Lou. Bye, Doctor. Is she going to be all right? She's going to be all right. She wants Wiley. He's soaking. Italy. My record time is 2.6 minutes. I used to visit this luscious Contessa whose hang-up was loaning me huge amounts of money. I wrote you about her, didn't I? Anyway, her husband had this obscene habit of suddenly pounding on her chamber door, forcing me to lower myself into the canal just below her window. <laughs> God, no wonder Venice is sinking. And Danny wants you to go and sit at her bedside. I can't. I'm wet. What's her condition? Two-thirds of her lung tissue is gone. Well, don't worry. She'll never be so unthinking as to die in your presence. Well, before she signs a new will. She's made me sole heir, Luke. You know what that means to you? The mind boggles. <laughs> Try my back, will you? What would you say to getting half of my inheritance? I'd say thank you. Brisker, please. I'd say thank you. I meant my back, Bunky. Speaking of money, I think I'd better get Miss Lancaster out of the house for the rest of the day. We don't want the aunt to see her, do we? The only problem is... I don't have a cent, Wiley. Oh. But you still got the key to her strongbox, don't you? Luke? I never thanked you for stealing all that money for me. I wasn't expecting your thanks. I was supposed to send for you, wasn't I? As soon as I had conquered the world? It's unconquerable, you know.
I'm borrowing against my inheritance. Are you going out? It's been ages since I could afford to blow a classy broad's mind. Oh, must you go out your first day home? You should be in bed, child. You look awful. I thought I looked rather desirable. Please, Wiley, stay a while. Just a little while. What for? I, I'm afraid to go to sleep. My, my dreams are so cold. Why don't you have Luke sit with you? He's got nothing better to do. Oh, what makes you think he doesn't have a classy broad, same as everybody else? Luke's got a girl? What's she like? He calls her his moon goddess. Well, they're, um... You mean while they're making it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? I eavesdrop. You don't. <laughs> he sneaks her into the house after he thinks I'm asleep. They hold their silly rituals in the conservatory in the moonlight. You peep, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a right to know who's in my house and why, haven't I? <laughs> you are a dirty old man. <laughs> <laughs> Um. You have a very hot hand for an aunt. Why, how dare you? How dare I what, my love? You seem to forget that I'm your... I forget nothing. You know, you won't believe this, but I still remember my mother. Even my nanny, who used to love telling me how poor Mama died of a broken heart. See you first thing in the morning, love. Call if you need me. Need you? Do you still think I could ever in a million years need you? You might. I hate you, Lou. I know. Shall I help you get ready for bed? Get out. I hope they do kill you. What are you talking about? Your lungs, of course. What did you think I was talking about? smiling on the gut level. I decided to relax and let it happen, if it wants to. And it will. Let what happen? I seem to be falling in love with you. Is 
Isn't it about time you stopped talking about dying and started doing something about it? I told my mother that I was a latent homosexual. She said, better latent than never. <laughs> no, man. It's really pretty, isn't it? Got a cigarette? Funny you should ask. Just happened to run into a new friend of mine from Tijuana. Not my brand. Is she putting me on? She means the latrine. Over there, honey. Poor dear. And like that. You look like a seven-day astonishment. Are you alone? Incurably. Did that brazen body snatch you turn out to be anything much? Just another beautiful girl with all the wrong values. I'll take you back, Wiley, if you've no place to go now. A year of group therapy would cure you of this need to be a human being. I know. And it's swell of you. You'll come back. Well, fact is, she hasn't finished with me just yet. You needn't pretend with me, Wiley. See for yourself. She'll be back any minute. You brought her here just to make me suffer? <laughs> There's some in the stalls. Oh, you!
just go and say goodnight to your jacket. <laughs> Who signs the new will? A rich old lady in a wheelchair. Hey, has anyone ever thought of murdering a rich old lady in a reflection pool? No. Seems a much nicer way to cut off your victim's oxygen supply. More humane, too. We ought to give it some serious consideration. Do you know why so many brilliant capers fail, Wiley? Because some idiot starts trying to improve on the original scheme. We're going to Sausalito for breakfast. You wouldn't want me to catch pneumonia and die, would you? I haven't signed the new will yet, remember? I meant after you signed it. Is this what you're searching for? No. I meant for you to have it back. You did? Your girl from Belmondo's gave it to me. I have no idea you knew each other. She never told you? Wouldn't that have endangered her scheme? Is there a scheme? Isn't there? I've already told you more than I know. I believe I'm to be murdered in my wheelchair. In your oxygen tent. That must be the man come to install the new will. 
stay here. Luke will answer the door. You may use that tone of voice with me anytime you wish. But don't ever take it seriously. It spoils my fun. Dig? It's Mr. Bendetto and the witnesses. Put them in the living room. Wiley? Yes, love? You're playing at all this, aren't you? Danny girl. What's the matter? I thought I saw something. The window. Which window? My room. It looked like a woman. Is she still there? No. She moved away just as I saw her. Did she seem to fairly float away? It was not a ghost. There again. In other words, I better go and see. Oh, it was probably Luke. To the park, sweet prince. I'd better go and see.
got to get out of this bed, Danielle. Uh, Not for the world. The boy's going to be just fine. He, he didn't run away. With those bruised ribs and abrasions? No, no. I, I mean, Wiley. Where is he? Well, the young lady and I brought him in and put him right to bed. Now, you've simply got to lie quiet, Danielle. Mm. He tried to save me. Quiet. I saw the courage it took. The courage. I'm sure of it. No. Oh. Oh. Wake, wake him up. Oh. Listen to me. No, you listen to me. I've given you a very powerful sedative. No. And I order you to stop fighting it, I my dear. I need him. Shh. Let the dreams come. They're, they're going to murder me. No one has ever been murdered by a dream, Danielle. Now close your eyes. Please don't. Don't go. I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to dream. I What are you doing out of bed? Shouldn't someone sit with her? Didn't you take those pills I gave you? Yes, I did. Then you get right back to bed before you fall down in a heap. You going to look in on my brother before you go? Well, your brother, is he? Yes, Wiley. Oh, he's all right. I gave him a muscular relaxant. You see, in the cataleptic state, the muscles become rigid, and you want them relaxed, you know, so that consciousness and feeling can return, and with them, the blessings of natural sleep. Of course, this isn't a genuine catalepsy. It isn't? Oh, no, not at all. A case of plain fright, plain paralyzing fright. As I remarked to the young lady, who is she, by the way? Oh, a friend of the family. In all my experience, I've known only one other classic example of plain fright, but brought on by claustrophobia. A strapping young woman it was, accidentally locked in a broom closet for a mere half hour, mind you. Even so, when they got her out, she was stiff, staring, alive, but more dead then. I tell you, I shot every stimulant known to science into that girl. All for nothing. She died. Literally died of fright. Now then, look off, you go to bed. Where are you off to? To your aunt's room. Turn off the oxygen? To see the will. She signed it. I'll just go and have a look for myself. Oh, all right. I'll go and get the damn thing for you. I'm coming with you. Wait in the playroom. I'm coming with you. Wait in the playroom! I didn't go in. 
I thought I heard a cat. In her room? Maybe. You're lying. What if I'm not? What if they have come back? They could be out there now. Surrounding the house. Seeping into it. Give me that key, Wiley. Those cats will never let you kill her, Cassia. Will you stop that? Why, is it getting to you? Oh, for God's sake, I wouldn't mind if I thought you believed all this superstitious crap. I do. We all do, a little. It's the price we pay for belonging to a race that wasn't always human.
dead. No. He'll die in the cellar with the cats crawling all over him. I want him to die in that dirty little room where he made you have sex with him. Luke, maybe we should wait. Just a few days. Just until she's buried. Are you crazy? Once he comes out of that catalytic but the state... two of them dying at almost the same time. You being the only heir, it's got to That's be That's exactly right. why it's gonna work. You never suspect me of having the guts to pull off a stunt like that. The police don't know you. Why should anyone phone the police? Aunt Danny's lungs finally gave out. Wiley literally died of fright. Dr. Mills will understand. The cat wouldn't let me kill her. What do you mean? They do come back. Just like he kept saying. I brought those cats back, you know that. No, it was the cat that was at Belmondo's. All right, I'll do it. Cassia. Cassia! The bowl's in the seat, get it. The meat, so you can get them down in the cellar.
He carried me in here, for safekeeping, he called it. He was having such great black fun, Luke, with all of us. Let it lie. Phone Dr. Mills. You'll see that her death was an accident. Well, what are you waiting for? Phone Dr. Mills. Not the police? Why should anyone call the police? Don't come in, Wiley. The cats are everywhere. I know. Everywhere. Wiley? Wiley? I never intended to stay, Aunt Annie. I'm sorry you have to. Both of you. I really am, Lou. You know that. <laughs>